Well, good morning, good morning. Marmalade on the PCT, baby. You can tell by the hat. And what is going on, everybody? Yes, a road walk. People don't show this in their through hiking videos, but uh, after about the first mile, there's a road walk. Not very long, about a quarter to a third of a mile, and you get back on trail. But thought, since it's ugly, let's do an intro. So I want to go over uh, my section hike I'm doing. Kind of a long section hike. It's going to be like two and a half days, two nights. So my plan is I started at the southern terminus so i am about a mile and a half in from the border right now and uh it's going to be a really great time i wanted to get on and just get some miles and i have three days off so i decided to get out here while the hikers are still out here it is april 26 tuesday 2022 and here's the plan real quick i won't go over this intro or do a big intro for the rest of the hike but i wanted to kind of tell you what this is about it's going to be today is a big day it's supposed to be about 80 degrees today that's high and I'm gonna to try to do the whole 20. I've done it a few times in my life, so uh, I shouldn't have a problem doing it, but uh, I wanna do 20 miles to Lake Marina, uh, go to take you to the malt shop, eat there. I wanna camp with all the hikers. That's why I'm kind of doing this. And uh, then day two, I'll do less miles. My first day is 20 miles, like I said, and then day two will be about 13 miles, not as hard up to Civet's Flats. And then uh, day three will be nine or 10 miles up to Mount Laguna where I've staged my car. Thank you, Kathy, if you see this. Uh, a kind trail angel uh, met me at the end at Mount Laguna where I parked my car and drove me to the terminus. So, and I just got to scout. If you see this, I just got to meet Scout with Scout and Frodo for the first time ever. Amazing trail angel and author and uh, got to uh, talk to him and meet him finally, get a picture with him. Here's his picture here. But uh, it was really neat to meet him. And uh, this is his last day, or last day, last year of doing, uh, uh, hosting hikers or bringing them to the terminus. So he said it's kind of a, happy and sad kind of time, but he wanted to do it one last time and COVID kind of stopped his last year, so he's doing it this year. So that is the plan. Uh, gonna have good weather, it looks like. It's a little partly cloudy today, so maybe we'll have some uh, sun cover. But um, it's gonna be warmer today, uh, like, like I said, about 80. When I get up higher in the elevation, it'll be cooler. Hopefully get a breeze. And then day two and three is gonna be like 10 degrees cooler, so it'll be just perfect. So that is the plan. I can't wait to get out here and be amongst hikers, my people. And I've already seen a few people that uh, I work at REI, and I've already seen a couple of people that I helped at the store, and they're starting today, so it's pretty cool. So I'll be hiking amongst some of them, and that is it. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching, and let's get it on, baby. So here we are at the first water source on the PCT. It's still flowing. I just know people from like the UK have it's different for them to get really hot because it's not that it is that hot, it's just competitive. Hey. Hey guys, doing a little check-in. Uh, I'm at 5.9 miles, so almost six miles. It's uh, 10.05, so in about two and a half hours. I started at 7.30 this morning. At two and a half hours, I've got almost six miles. It's pretty good. Uh, I did a longer than normal 
break at the water at mile 4.4 and talked to a lot of hikers. Everybody kind of showed up at the same time. Most of us got photos group. So anyway, so I stayed there for a while. So I'm doing great. It's getting warm though. It's supposed to get 80 today. And I bet you it's at least 70 right now. And of course it feels hotter because I'm hiking, but as I go higher, it should get cooler and I'm starting to feel a breeze. So that's good too. But all right, almost six miles in, trying to go 20. All right, guys, uh, checking in. I've gone two more miles. It's been uh, uh, 55 minutes since I last checked in. I was just under uh, six miles, and I'm just under eight, so I did exactly two miles, which is pretty good. I filmed a lot, and it's been all uphill, but I'm going to get ready to go up. I've been working my way up this valley you see here, and this is the first kind of a steepish hill you have. It's a bunch of switchbacks. It's only like a third to half a mile long, so I usually just try to power it out, but uh, once you get up there, there's campsites if you want to stop or keep going so it's fractionally uh, uphill or flat so it's cruisy for a while but yeah uh, just before mile eight you start going uphill pretty good Just wanted to show you where we're headed down to Hauser Creek and then we'll work our way up this mountain up a bunch of switchbacks pretty steep up Hauser Canyon up and over this mountain and down to Lake Morena. We got to Lake Moreno, did 20 miles by 5.30. We're all set up. There's my green tent back here, right there. Got a good group of folks. What up? What up? Anyway, this is a uh, camp. It's a beautiful home. It's nice to be here. It's a really nice night. Not too windy. Anyway, it's on to the mall shop. Hey guys, it's just a little wrap up for the day one. Man, what a day. It was a hard day, 20 miles. And you guys know I hike a lot, but it's mostly day hikes and peaks and stuff like that when I'm not backpacking and, you know, maybe go six, eight, 10 miles and I have a day pack, not a full pack. So it was hard, 20 miles. And I've done this section before and it's a big climb up Hauser. And so I did it all though. And it's, it, what made it hard was just the heat and the, it's more of the total exposure, like just never having shade. So. 
I did I met some great people here and so we went to the malt shop as you saw and got a I got a bacon a blue cheese bacon bur cheeseburger blue cheese bacon cheeseburger it's hard to say but it was super good with lots of fries I had so much I had to have a to-go box I'm gonna have it maybe for breakfast or whatever but yeah I had a great day and uh, tomorrow so it's, I got the hardest longest day out of the way um, tomorrow should just be 13 miles to sit it's flat uh, the first six miles are pretty flat uh, to Boulder Oaks and then it's about seven miles uphill quite a bit but not anything like today so um, it's supposed to be cooler tomorrow so we'll see but anyway hope I can hack out with some people here but uh, thanks for watching as you can see I'm laying down getting horizontal as the hiking rev would say and uh, that's about it see you in the morning Time to get up. So you thought it was a desert, huh? Look at this. Crazy, right? It's just a, a little lush oasis uh, right before the bridge you go under. Uh, I don't know how many miles, probably mile 22 or 3, but yeah, if you need a break from the sun or the heat, this is where to go. A lot of shade. Of course, you could camp under the bridge if you wanted. Sometimes there's water. I'm not there yet. Uh, it's been a drier year, so probably no water, but uh, yeah, a little update. I'm about three miles in. Uh, my first stop is Boulder Oaks, which is six miles, mile 26, and I start at mile 20 at Lake Miranda, so about halfway there. And it's a very easy six miles if you ever want to come out and hike this. It's about that one little hill I went over is about 300 feet climb, and the rest of it's dead flat. So, yeah, good spot to come out and hike. As I suspected, the river's dry.
Yeah. Wow. I've never seen American roll tobacco. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I'm sophisticated. Is there also a faucet here for water? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Over there by that. Good morning, good morning. Day three, quick intro here. A little out of breath going uphill, but uh, I had a good night I'm with a group of six or eight people. I have two people, or one person from Whittier, California, one from Texas, a couple from Slovakia, a young man, a really cool guy uh, from Denmark. So we have a fun group going up to Mount Laguna. I think overall we're about nine or 10 miles today. About 2,000 feet up. That's about it. We started about, I tried to go at seven. You guys know I'm an early riser, but we couldn't get going until about 7.45. But it's a nice cool morning so far. We're up higher, so it'll be cooler today. I'm out of breath, that's it. See you down trail.
<laughs> All right, we're going to the Pine House Cafe, baby. Get some grub. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.